What is that sound? What the hell is that fucking internal sound? Sir, Mr. Harlan, it's informed me of this evening. It's the tornado of silence. It's on the first mile of every mile. There's no emergency. You're sure? Oh no, I'm sure. <sighs> if there was an actual emergency... Jesus! Why does it sound like one of them's dying? <laughs> It's called an American signal T-121, and it's solar-powered, sir. It appears to have bad batteries. Hmm. Sounds calming, if you ask me. Oh well, Scout, you can do the video. Yes, sire. If you're wondering who I am, I am the Scout. I am a humble servant of Evil Ash. Today I will be talking to you about Hans Kohlhaas, a German outlaw from the year 1500. We have fans outside. General, of course we do. Those loud sirens. <sighs> Sir, you cannot tell tornado sirens to be quiet. They will have to be turned off by a computer. I see. Yes, sire. In the meantime, Play this game in the background. Fine. <clears throat> Hans Kolas, according to early modern German accounts, was a merchant whose grievance against a Saxon nobleman developed into a full-blown feud against the state of Saxonia, thus infringing the eternal peace of 1495. The campaign culminate, culminated in Kulhas's execution in 1540. 1540. Mm. Seems I have a... Uh... You're right, evil ass. Those sirens are annoying. Shh. Be quiet. We know you work. Shh. You're not getting paid hourly. Huh. Good work, Scout. You appear to have silenced them. I blame Ash Williams for this. Your brother has nothing to do with the statewide siren test. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Ah. Very well, back to the reading for me. In October 1532, according to the story, Kolhas was proceeding from his hometown of Kohl to the fair of Atelipsig when he was attacked and his horses were taken from him by the servants of a Saxon nobleman, one Gunther von Zaschwitz. In consequence of the delay, the merchant suffered some loss of business at the fair. And on his return, he refused to pay the rather large sum which Zaschwitz demanded as a condition of turning the horses. In return, Kolhoss asked for a substantial amount of money as compensation for his loss.
For his loss and failing to secure this, he invoked the aid of his sovereign. Unser team hat die Führung <clears throat> The Elector of Brandon, Joachim I. Nesta. Finding, however, that it was impossible to recover his horses. Good ones. He paid his lashes. The sum required for them, but reserved to himself. You're a terrible driver, sire. This ship is unwieldy, I can't help it. Very well, back to me. Read everything. But he reserved to himself the right to take further action. Revenge campaign. Ah, revenge is a good thing. Not really. Unable to obtain redress in the courts of law, Kolhos and Feudmetter threw down a challenge not only to his aggressor, but to the whole of Saxonia. Acts of lawlessness were soon attributed to him, and after an attempt to settle the feud had failed, the elector of Saxonia, John Frederick I, set a price upon the head of the angry merchant. Kolhos now sought revenge in earnest, gathering around him a band of criminals and desperados. He spread terror throughout the villages of whole of Saxonia. Travelers were robbed, villages were burned, and towns were plundered. For some time, the authorities were practically powerless to stop these outages. Outrages! Oh. Outrages. Hmm. Interesting. For some time, the authorities were practically powerless to stop these outrages, but in March 8, 1540, Kolhos and his principal associate, George Nadelschmidt, were seized. On the 22nd of the, of the month, they were broken on the wheel in Berlin, or simply executed by breaking wheel. Sir, you can do better than that. I know, but uh, this is good for now. Of course. Reception. Heinrich von Kleist's novel, Michael Kohlhaas, is loosely based on Kohlhaas's life. The novel was made into three films. Michael Kohlhaas, The Rebel, 1969, The Jack Bull in 1999, and Age of Uprising, The Legend of Michael Kohlhaas in, in 2013. Further, it was the inspiration for the character Kohlhaas Walker Jr. in E.L. Dr. Rowe's novel Ragtime. And that is it about Michael Kohlhaas, or Hans Kohlhaas. <clears throat> These outlaws are boring, scowled. I understand, sire, but they are entertaining. Human beings are interesting kinds of people. We are just demons, after all, from another realm. Even though Earth was our planet at one point, it's not anymore. And, uh, I don't care. But any anyways, kiddies, that'll be it for today's video. 
and after this video is over, I will try to give some English lessons to the general here. No, you will not. I can speak perfectly fine. All right, then. Say this line here that I remember you saying. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, you miserable bags of bones! Pick yourselves back up! Then Sally, far! I hate that. See what I mean, sir? You have TMJ. I blame Ash for that. But, uh, that's what you say all the time. You blame Ash for everything. No, I do not. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Yes, you do. See, you can't even take self-accountability. That's what the glare is all about. Accountability. And he's amazing. And he's bored. I don't know how to respond to that. Look, I, I may be bald, but you have long black hair, like a witch. <coughs> <coughs> oh, oh, well. That'll, that'll be it for today's video. If you like, if you love this video, feel free to like, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.
Bye, everyone. See you.